so welcome back everybody in this video we are going to apply a toothpaste on a heat sink and try and figure it out that uh, will it really be performing better than a thermal compound obviously the answer is no but uh, for a worst case scenario can we apply a toothpaste to run an entire cpu will it be better than what we actually own so let's begin with our today's video topic and there we go so right now i have four toothpaste they all are of different companies and that's a tiny one is of mine by the way so what we are going to do is to take the heat sink right now and apply the first one because uh, obviously you are well familiar about colgate so oh i'm sorry <laughs> so let's apply it i actually borrowed it from my friends because i generally don't have this much toothpaste so i don't know whether it's the right way to apply it or not but let's find it will it gonna work or not and i have a lighter a cigarette lighter so what i am going to do is uh, to start it up and uh, let's do just like this one and uh, i'm so sorry so we are going to burn this thing uh, if a lighter can burn this thing definitely a cpu can burn this thing but definitely a lighter have more heat emitting power mean it can emit more amount of heat than a cpu can actually so let's start burning it i don't think so that you can actually see the flame it oh my god can you guys actually see that it's become a little bit brown oh my god my light yeah so definitely choosing something like colgate is really not a great option to apply on a cpu so first let's remove it out to be real guys this is only if you don't have a thermal compound just try it only then we are just figuring out which toothpaste actually works for you so let's try something different it's dabar red is it something like that <laughs> okay so let's apply it okay there you have it I don't know whether this video is going to sound more ridiculous than this video actually is but we are actually outside and it's one side sun coming to me so let's back to work guys so next one we have close up maybe some of you are well familiar i don't know oh my god so let's apply it just like this it contain actually mint it's a little bit shinier than actually before so wow this one is really really great there any flame or not yeah you can see that once again i started it the color is only changing to a little bit white but uh, it is working very well i think this one is way more better than previous one it previous one we have tried so the final one guys so to be real guys this one works better than these two now the last one cuz actually i was thinking that uh, this lighter is emitting way more amount of heat than a processor ever created so let's try the next one yeah so it's a different company
it's you can you may hear the pop sound it's actually fine okay that's really great it become a little bit of harder so at the end result guys if you are going to apply a toothpaste other than a real real thing which is a thermal paste i will not say you that you will use it but uh, if there is no option go for something that take time to burn and uh, we do have some great result by the way but uh, to be fair enough things like thermal paste and uh, uh is it right uh things like thermal paste and uh, it's a toothpaste are actually different and they are created completely different but uh, if you are going to work on a diy project and that's just a testing time with a heat sink applying a toothpaste can even work better i really tried it on my personal laboratory that really works pretty much well but who actually knows a hundred thousand dollar cpu with a toothpaste no to be real enough apply this only when you can actually see the system where you can actually use it i will not recommend you to apply it under the heat sink and you can't even look at that it's burning like a toaster please guys don't use it oh my god so that's fine for a diy project but what the hell is this video now end up this video towards the benchmarking will this thing actually performs better than a real thermal paste let's move in the lab so for the first test i'm going to apply the real thermal paste so this is with the real thermal paste so this is what it looks like it's uh, 41 to 46 degrees celsius with a branded thermal paste so now let's move ahead with a toothpaste so let us apply our favorite toothpaste so choose the toothpaste that actually take time to burn so let's apply it so this temperature is from the paste this is right now 47 right now to 55 actually it works very well but to be real and i clarify you that this segment will not be forever it can lose its property so it can become hard just after 10 to 15 days it will not work perfectly at, at the way that it's working right now so thanks for watching guys like or dislike the video you completely thought about this video because actually the video we shot just like here oh i'm sorry get subscribed or even consider something like contacting us directly down description is our mail id or even choosing our amazon affiliate code in the down description so by the way thanks for watching once again i'll see you next time